Tunibu has turned to beggar, restructure or cancel the loan you got during OBJ's regime, according to Ezekwe. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we, when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Former CEO and Managing Director of the Late Money Bank, PLC, Dr. Jonah Ezekwe, has stressed what President-elect Bola Ametunembu should do to revive Nigeria's economy. In an interview with Vincent Kalu, a senior lecturer in economics, Tunembu called for the centralization of economic activities in Nigeria. The new government under Bola Ametunembu will be... The new government under Bola Tunembu will be in place within the next month. What should be his financial focus? They asked. In reply, he said, Before I come straight to your question, let me tell you about my meeting with Tunembu. I met him when he was elected governor of Lagos State. Tunembu and the late Senator Onyeka Okorafo were born in the Senate of a short-lived Third Republic and had problems with Abacha. Onyeka and Tunembu were part of Alliance for Democracy AD and I was the CEO of Money Bank. Onyeka told me to join him in paying a courtesy call on the governor-elect of Lagos State. They went there with one Dr. Leo Ogba of a late citizen's bank. After happy exchanges, at the same time, the name of Yemi Kadeso was mentioned. He was then with Citizen Bank. Tunimbu turned to, Mr. to Dr. Ogba and asked him, So Yemi is working with you. Tell him to contact her. Yemi did that and that is how he became commission, Lagos State Commissioner. This was my first meeting with him. I wish him all the best as he steps into the saddle. As a resident of Lagos State, I also observed him in his economic programs, which he later handed over to Fashola. Some of the things he did gave me the good impression that he would be a good president, just as he became a good governor in Lagos State. I am not a politician. This is just a personal opinion. They asked, he inherits a large debt, a large debt load, security, Insecurity, as he noted, it's money. How would he feel about that? In reply, he said, Although he is from the party of the outgoing president, he has to look at the debt profile and its management because the loans were taken for specific purposes. For example, we were told that most of the loans from China were taken to overhaul the railway industry. According to what I read in the newspapers, the income of the railway is not even enough to cover the interest on the debt, let alone the capital. We cannot go on like this. You have to admit that. If you do not pay off debt, it will continue to accumulate. Now that Tunibu have turned into a beggar, you turn to your lender and ask for the restructuring or cancellation of a loan you get. Follow with Dr. Ongozo Okonji Iwela during the Obasanjo administration in Nigeria earlier. Nigeria being in debt does not mean you will make people starve. You have to find a way to generate income, reduce the debt burden, restructure the debt, extend its management time and duration, and do other restructuring, but see where you can make money. Currently, the country generates money in oil and other sectors such as agriculture. You should look at the tax system. I don't know why some people fly on a private jet, and if you look at the income tax payment, it is not enough. You should repeat the same thing he did in Lagos by reforming the revenue service. Another area is to look at the import bill and all those leakages in the system. Remove false subsidies and fight corruption. In doing that, you have to lead by example. Well, I tell you, this is called, this is pieces of advice. Permit me to use these pieces. This is pieces of advice, and I hope Tony is going to catch on on this one. I keep saying, if you're outside, it is easier for you to see the fault. It's easier for you to recommend to advise. But when you get inside, <laughs> that's the way they see from outside. You know, go fix The only people where they outside go fix tell you say, oh guy, outside smoke they come out from your window. This particular place on the red for this wire where they for pull where they outside. This particular one, this drainage don't follow and the, the water here yeah, and the gutter they smell. You know go fix all those things again. It is when you are outside the system that I can naturally give advice and I wish he takes this advice. Nigeria as a country must restructure taxation in all areas and fighting corruption at all fronts. Some people owe many businesses, companies and cars and so on and they're not paying anything to the government. Okay, some people own many businesses, Companies, cars, and so on, but they're not paying anything to the government. People are in government inv invasion taxes and cover others as well. We are killing this country. Well, you are true to an extent, sure. 
Tunibe will do well in governance if it is God that gave him to Nigeria's president. God bless good-minded Nigerians. Amen. Okay, and how can such a corrupt person with tendency to want to be richer than Dango to be able to fight corruption? How about he did tell you that he wants to be richer than... See, there's something I have, to, I have said to us. Whether I would like it or not, whoever will be the president will be the president, whether things are working well or not. Whether your business is going well or not. We should be focusing on making how, working out to make your business better. Now, have you not heard that what was meant for your downfall is now, good, is now used for you? You never hear turning your situation around. You know, what was meant to kill you is now, what, is now, what's, is now what's promoted you or gave you growth. Hey, it can always turn out like that now. That's why I keep saying, maybe we should stop putting the wrong energies into words. Oh, his, and his, his tenor will be like this. Oh, this one is going to happen. People are going to see. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No matter how others are saying it around you, keep saying to yourself that the turn of the president for you is going to be favorable. All right? Okay, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.